baseball fans and welcome MLB the show with a good one coming at you it's the Pittsburgh Pirates and the San Diego Padres first pitch coming your way next just about set to go and on the hill in this one Matt Waldron well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled, batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. All right, ready to go here. Isaiah kiner falefa up to the plate, and that's off the inside edge, and we're underway. Pitch is in there, and it's one and one. Bounce to third. It's through for a hit. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Brian Reynolds here. Outside. And a pitch. That one ripped, but foul. Connor Falefa on at first. Nobody out. Check on the runner. Connor Falefa dives back in. is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. This one popped up. Machado has a beat on it. Hauls it in for the out. One down. There's a Pirates lineup now. They'll be contending with a knuckleballer today. And of course, that's just not something you see very often in today's game. And Boog, I'll speak uh, from firsthand experience. I feel for these hitters today because it's pretty difficult to get comfortable against a knuckleballer unless you see her more regularly than once every few years. So today it's going to be all about how this pitcher is able to keep the ball from spinning, get that movement floating towards the plate, and then late diving at Cronenworth. Over to Kim. One. Out. Return for the first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. On to the bottom of the first. No score. Back here at Petco Park. And today's starter, Paul Skeens. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him, and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. That's not exactly what they're going for when they say run up, run down. Profar climbs in on that left side. That one in triple digits. All ones the count. Just missed. Nobody out. Runner at first. And another ball. Okay. And a strike right through there. That one in triple digits.
Next Count one just misses. Two. Counts full three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Payoff pitch. Good plate nope. appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not yeah, easy laying off pitches that just miss the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. Jake Cronenworth in the box now. Takes strike one. No outs. Runners at first and second. Dives, but it's off his glove. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Everything came together for him. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Here's Manny Machado now. That's in there. Strike one. Xander Bogarts fouled off. He was late. First and second here, no outs. to Bogarts. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Jackson Merrill will hit next. Runners on the move. Swing and a miss. And the throw, he's out of third. And here it comes. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Going two now. One ball, two strikes. In the dirt, no movement. Now a ball and two strikes. Machado on its second with two down. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Man on second, two down. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Man at second. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We'll move to the second now at Petco Park. It's the Padres two, and the Pirates nothing. 
back here in San Diego. And now the DH, Joey Bart. Bart measures six feet two inches, 240 pounds, and he's usually a catcher. Today he gets off his legs a bit. He's the DH. Waldron back to work. Right through there for a strike. Well, I really like when a guy gets oh, a break like count. that. He still gets to stay involved in the game. Instead of starting behind the dish, gets to hit, Ball, gets to rest back. a little bit, gets to watch the game from a different perspective. The wind of the pitch. Fought off foul. And he deals. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep for Gettle. A gigantic blast. And they're on the board. It's 2-1. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there. No doubt about it. Seems like it's so hard to square him up and hit the ball hard, but this guy had no problem at all. It was like he was born to do this. Really good piece of hitting, just a sound swing, and he stayed within himself. Here's Rowdy Telez. Line, and that's a base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing That's it on the first it. pitch. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian De La Cruz. That's in there. 1-1. a rocket into the outfield lead runner makes the turn at second the throw in safely into second he's got a double he stayed close with the front side even though he likes to go to the opposite field if you go inside too many times he'll make you pay And key Brian Hayes. Golden opportunity right here. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. The Pirates down by a run here at the top of the second. There's a strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Carl Dixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And boom, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most players are... In the air, left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is a big first out. Two on, one out. And now the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one to know. And strike one to the catcher. Got a ball, one strike. That one pulled foul. Second and third here. One away. Got him looking for the K. 
Well, they were pretty much giving it to him right there. Playing the infield back. All you're looking for in offense is a simple ground ball. I'm okay. not sure what he was thinking up there. Strike out looking is the last thing you want to see. Now you got to hope the next guy can pick you up and come through with a big two out hit. Now it's going to be Michael A. Taylor. And fouled off. And that's downstairs and outside. And a pitch. Popped up left side. Machado should have this one. Makes the grab. And that's the third out. But the Bucks get one back in the solo home run. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Go, 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 go. Bottom of the second. And now the right David way. Peralta. Peralta. And the right hander back to work. And a foul ball. You'll want. Nope. Outside. Good eye in that spot. The 2 2 on the way. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Comes the 2 2. The punch out there. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Batting it. Yeah, the batter now. Hassan Kim. First offering and it just misses. You have to be creative pitching against bad ball hitters. You got to add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding the heart of the plate isn't always going to be enough. Guys like this can hurt you with pitches you wouldn't expect him to swing at. That one at triple digits. Right through there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. One out, base is empty. That one away, still one and two. Kicks and fires. Ball two. Still just the second two batter of the two inning, strikes. and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. He goes down looking. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone That's right there. That was a tough the battle, catcher. man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was a fun at bat to watch. Two outs, space is empty. So digging in now for San Diego, Kyle Higashioka. Fastball for a strike. 0-1. Two out, space is empty. And the 0-2. Chop to third. Throw over three to down. Telez. Three up, three down, inning over. Padres go down quietly as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. 
top half of the third inning at the play. Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And a pitch. That one finds the zone. Going to walk. Out to center. Sizes this one up. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Brian Reynolds. 0 for 1 so far. And that one is lifted in the air. This looks like extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a two bagger. Here's O'Neill Cruz. He hit into a double play his first time up. And pitch in for a strike. And it's 0-1. Well, I'll always remember how Cruz left his mark on Major League Baseball in his debut. Three innings into his first game, he had the hardest throw by any infielder in baseball, the hardest hit ball all season by a Pirate, and the fastest sprint speed by a Pirate. This guy does it all. In for a strike. And it's 0-2. And it's second. The oh, shortstop right takes the ball. And a foul ball. He stays alive. One out and a runner at second. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Left-hand batter waits. Three. Got him looking for the strikeout. Knuckler just floated down into the zone for strike three. Well, even if you don't feel great about it, you've got to swing the bat with two strikes in this situation. You've got the tying run out there in scoring position. Just put the ball in play. Maybe something good will happen. It just didn't look like he understood the situation. This is Joey Bart. Hit hard. That gets through. Coming around third is Reynolds. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 2-2. Two -two. Waste no time there. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. And now it's Rowdy Telez. One for one with a single so far. That clips a corner. Tied up here in the early going. Close, but called a ball. And the count is one and one. Two outs. And a strike in there. One ball, two strikes. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. Part around second, headed for third. Headed for the plate. The relay. He scores, and they have the lead. Three to two. He was now all over right. that one. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting yeah. one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Brian De La Cruz, the next pirate to hit, doubled his first time up. Close one. one doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. Telez leads off first with two down to the inning. Oh, 
ground ball left side. Slings it across. Third out. That ends the frame. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Pirates three and the Padres two. And we're back. Luis Arise stands in. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Next offering is in for a strike. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Absolutely. If he's doing damage now, if he's rolling over and, and grounding out, then it's a different story. But yeah, if he can put the ball in the gaps or over the fence, 100%. Now batting Jerickson Profar. A walk and a run scored his first time. That clips the corner. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting hey. into the bullpen perhaps before you get to Don't those higher down. leverage arms at the back end. One down, base is empty. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. Next pitch inside, and the count is two and two. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no yeah, trouble yeah. so far. I'm no, sure he's going to strike out the side yeah. here. Make a little statement. Uh, you've yeah, got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with the base oh, runner. Yeah. Could become dangerous. Cronenworth in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. One ball, yeah, one and strike. I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. That one's in there. One and two. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Reynolds trying to get there. Won't get to this one. It drops foul. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. And the righty deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. Kicks and deals. High fly ball, shallow right field. Moving under this one. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. of the fourth here's the third baseman key Brian Hayes when you talk about elite defensive third baseman this guy is at the top of the list line drive base hit right field so a man on base to start the inning didn't take long to get a result for that at bat that pretty much split the zone down the middle and those are the ones where you got to make them pay Yasmani Grandal up to him. He's 0 for 1. Right through there for a strike. 0 1 for count. And a pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Runner at first with no outs here. Back.
battling here as he fouls it away. The pitch. Struck him out without a swing. Knuckler faded to the outside corner for called strike three. Here's the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. First time up was a pop out. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Hayes leads off first with one away. Puts the corner, and it's 0 and 2. Upstairs. Well, the good thing so far is One that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Righty delivers. Pitch two misses balls. there. Two, two and two. Man at first, one away. Pickoff throw. No, Hayes okay. gets back easily. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and the second with only second. one away. Second base. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the second baseman, Isaiah Kiner Falefa, one for two. Double steal. And that one fouled off. Runners at first and second with one gone. Top half of inning number four. That's in there. For a two down. No ball, two strike. Two on, one out. And now one and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Rolled to short, possible two ball on the Bogarts. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Brian Reynolds. If you're trying to keep the line moving, this is the guy you want at the plate. Such a good hitter. Can also flash some power. First pitch, just misses. Corners are occupied with two down. That's the third. They take the force out, and that is the inning. Pirates strand a couple, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Ready to go. Ready to go. Bottom four. Now Machado up here. The third baseman. Manny. Machado. Pitch. That's in there. Strike one. You know, these Padres showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Here's Xander Bogarts. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Runner on the move. Sliced hard but foul. 
It's still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss. Now one away. With that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. His first hit bat was a strikeout. There's a strike. Tying run is at first. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Fouled off. He was late. And the right hander deals. And takes low for ball one. Put a layoff that pitch down. Swinging for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Peralta in the box for the second time. One ball, no strikes. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's one and one. The one one is fouled off. Two outs. Race down the line. Pick the extra bases. Machado around second. Rounds third, headed for the plate. The relay throw. And he's out. Hunt down, and that ends the inning. Always exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time. And they cut down the run to end the inning. Top of the fifth at the plate for Pittsburgh, O'Neill Cruz. And that's in for a strike. Cruz, 25 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Right hander kicks deals. And that one fouled off. his knees. Here's Joey Bart now. He's already homered here in this one. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. That one finds the zone. One. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Next All offering one. misses. And one and one. 1 0. One down, base is empty. Foul ball still a one and two count. And a pitch. Goes down looking. 
Man, that thing just barely no, got no, the no, zone, no, so no, you no, almost no, can't blame the no, guy no. for laying off. I mean, no, the way no. knuckleballs dart all over the place, realistically, that could have just as easily missed by four or five inches. It's such a tough pitch to not overcommit to, so sometimes you just hold up and hope it dances out of the zone. Telez oh. in the box now as he leaves that oh, one up one, high. Next oh, pitch is outside. Right. Wouldn't that's chase that three. time. A rare three ball count three ball. here. No He's been strike. throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And he walked him. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. No, he could have walked me right the there. Right right. The last one wasn't even Ryan. close. Yeah. So two yeah. down. Brian De La Cruz, the next pirate to hit. That pitch gets the inside corner, and it's 0-1. Two outs. And that's off ball one. the inside edge. And now it's even one and one. The pitch. Three. Yeah. And the inning is over. So one left for Pittsburgh. But they still lead at 3 2. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping in for San Diego, Hassan King. Skeens back to work. And fouled off. That misses. And it's a ball to strike. This one in the air. Tanner Falefa gets there. He's under it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. The catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. He's 0 for 1. First pitch misses. The Pirates leading by a run. Last half of inning number five. He was late there. Strike one. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Nope. That misses. Now two balls and a strike. Foul ball there. That one just misses. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Ow. Two away now after the drop third strike. Now that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie. You can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard and it gets plenty of bite on the end. So the San Diego batting order turns over. Next for the Padres, Luis Arias. Strike one. Oh and one. This one in the air center field. And it drops in. But a good job to keep it in front. Hitting is really easy for some guys. Go One thing that I can see already is bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough 
to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. In the box again, takes the strike. And a foul ball. Arrives off of first with two away. Gets a piece and stays alive. The 0-2. Ball, that's out. And another that's ball. Here it comes. There's a swing and a trap. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning trap. So one hit is all they get. We're through five. It's the Pirates three and the Padres two. San Diego start of the six John Shambi with Chris Singleton and leading off Key Brian Hayes Key Brian Hayes the why to kick the pitch that one finds the zone that's strike one. one. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego. Carl Edwards Jr., the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Poeck warming up as well. Just oh, off it. the inside edge. On the ground right side. Bogarts handles the chance. Slings to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. That one's in there. And that is strike one. Next offering is fouled back. Here's the 0-2. That one is absolutely belted. Back there. Forget it. He flexes his power with that swing. It's 4-2. He was really patient on that slow knuckleball, and that's what it takes to be successful against that pitch. Just a nice job of keeping his mechanics tight, and once it was time to pull the trigger, he did not hold back. Really nice piece of hitting. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Matt Waldron will depart, and he's not going to be happy with himself. New pitcher on the mound in a moment. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Carl Edwards Jr. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. One out, base is empty. Michael A. Taylor digs in now. Swings through that. Oh, one's the count.
And that clips the inside corner. One out, base is empty, and a run in. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And that's in the dirt. Two strikes. Wouldn't Two chase that time. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss struck him out. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off that. at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. So the Pirates batting order turns over. Up next for the Pirates, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. There's a strike. Some hitters are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. On the ground to third. And that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. Everything came together yeah, yeah. perfectly for him right there. You see a ball come off the bat like that. You know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering. And I'm looking on the computer. What was the exit velocity? This time 106. Man at second here with two away. Now the number two hitter. Brian Reynolds. One for three. Ball That's one the there. Ball one, no strike. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. At the belt and fires. Up the middle. And that one finds its way through. Now a long throw home. It's off the mark and he scores. It's 5-2. Picks himself up at RBI. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Runner at first with two away. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, O'Neill Cruz. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And ball one. Two outs. He swings and fouls one off. pitch Reynolds off the first with two away well wow, that's 89 on the gun and it's a change up it's like good hitting me ah, threw it by him a swing and a miss at the fastball to end the inning so two runs on three hits including the home run no errors and a runner left hard of the order three four five coming up it's the Pirates five and the Padres two Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Luis Ortiz. And compared to a lot of other yeah, relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense Luis should be active. Ortiz. Three, four, five, do up for the home team. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. It's interesting, he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well, so... When you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. The 2 stays alive. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? 
Absolutely, and I think if push One came to shove points, where yeah. they had to make a, a move during a game, it would surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put them in center field. The wind of the pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. The one two up the middle dives but it kicks off his glove that leaves him without a throw and they catch a break as they get a base runner at first. Here's Machado. Machado. And the pitch a little bit low ball one. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Kicks and fires. And that's just foul. And the righty deals. Whoa, that's down. The Padres trailing by three here in the bottom of the sixth. And downstairs. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. He's locked in at the no plate problem. when he's no using problem. the field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Right here, Xander Bogarts now. Wouldn't chase that time. Swing and a miss. One and one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then when the time gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Well, that's a blue zone right there. Or the cold zone on the hitting chart just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone and a really good job of the pitcher executing try to go there as often as you can the numbers are in your favor Jackson Merrill the next up for the Padres and immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter and the pitch just missed. No, oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And the pitch. That's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So two on with two away. So digging in now for San Diego, David Peralta. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Two on, two outs. One That's ball. down and in, Three a strike. slider missed. Movement in the bullpen. Dennis Santana loosening up in case he's called upon by Derek Shelton. Chapman getting cranked up as well.
Now he breaks as bad as it's put in play. He's got it, and that is the inning. Padres leave a pair. They trail at 5 2. Seventh, we have a new pitcher on the mound, Brian Hoeing. On for his 20th appearance of the year. To the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH, Joey Bart. He's already homered in this game. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Line drive, base hit right center field. And the leadoff man aboard. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, right hitters, on. they take so Hell many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now, oh, Rowdy right Telez. Just missed. Bart gets his lead at first with nobody out. Right through there for a strike. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Throw. Save. And it's second. Misses outside. And now it's three and two. And he deals. Ground ball up the middle. Tosses to first. That's the first out at the top of the seventh. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian De La Cruz. Fly ball to the outfield for a sack fly, soft ground ball to the right side, find a hole. He can attack this a few ways, but the one thing he can't do is strike out. Fall off foul. distance for the off ball home run but many times you have that slice going to the opposite field and he just couldn't keep that one fair the rope into right and that's a base hit comes through with the RBI nice job going the opposite way with it letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball it's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over it was on the outside part of the plate and he approached it perfectly up next for the Pirates, Key Ryan Hayes. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. In the dirt, blocked. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Kicks and deals. And Whoa. now it's even up. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. And here it comes. Swings and chases a low one there. One ball, two frames. Two. Got him. And now two gone. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones that let go as a hitter. But with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes.
Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The 0 1. Bounce to the right side. Whips it to first. That takes care of Grandel. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. But the RBI single pushes across a run. Now a 6 2 ball game. We're now, back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Number Dennis Santana. Santana. Dennis. And he's got a nice lead Santana. to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Digging in. Hassan Kim. The Padres, the Padres in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the late off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And the pitch. That one is upstairs. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Here's a 1-1. Good eye right there. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Up next to the top Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Higashioka up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. If you're going to get something going, inside, this is the time through. to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. 2-0. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That one's back. Throw a pair on the board. It's 6-4. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. So the lineup flips over, and here is Luis Arias. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And the right-hander deals. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. One and ball, delivers outside. Two strike. Bounce it off, still one and two. Makes the grab one away. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't no, produce no, a hit, but he made no, solid contact, and that's no, all you're no. looking to do anytime you're at the plate. No, no, no. Here's the switch hitting left fielder Jerickson profile. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets ahead in the count. The Pirates trying to protect a two-run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. They had a foul ball. Got him. Two gone. 
Now Pat. Pirates with a new arm on the mound. Kyle Nicholas. He's having a ton of success facing left-handed hitters this season, so this seems like a smart move to turn to him with a lefty at the plate. Stepping in for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That to right. De La Cruz snags it, and that'll do it. Padres draw closer on the long ball. It's a two-run lead now at 6-4. You're dialed into the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number Tanner Scott. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Michael A. Taylor getting ready to hit. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. And the 1-0. And a That's good eye cool. there. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position. And that's what he does. The next oh, offering great. misses. And it's 3-0. The yeah, hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game right. on defense. There's a strike. That one catches the corner for a strike. We got full count. And a pitch. That one walk misses. Four. So a leadoff walk. Leading off the The second base. Isaiah Kiner Falefa now at the plate. Snap throw to first, he's and he's back in there. Taylor runs. Pitch misses. Low throw, and he can't dig it out. Looks like the base runner had a pretty good feel on the pitcher's move. After that pick over, seemed to settle in, and he took off right away. Nice job of stealing second right there. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. And we're in the top of the eighth. And another ball. Two balls, no strike. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Right through there for a strike. left fielder Brian Reynolds yeah. Yeah. both sides equally as strong so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side hey. of the plate there's a strike back toward him with the breaking ball just got the corner there's nothing you can really do with that hey. next offering is in for a strike oh, Taylor leads off second with one gone in the inning He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Broken bat, and it's popped up. Bogarts settles under it and makes the catch. And there's two down. Now that. Now it's the shortstop, O'Neill Cruz. 0 for 4 with three strikeouts, and he's grounded out. And it's fouled away. Mm -hmm. 
And on second, two down. And the slider just misses. The shortstop takes the ball. And he's leaning in. It's a tough day for the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative. But you've got to find a way to somehow center off the baseball and put it in play. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Two outs. Spoils that one, and it remains 2-2. Two and two. And that just misses. Too low, ball nope. four, and he's walked another. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So now it's the four hole hitter, Joey Bart. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. A nope. little bit low. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Two on, two outs. And that's in there at the knees. And another ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. To the right side, and it goes just foul. Swings and misses. Third out. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Here's Manny Machado. Go. Go. The, the, the third baseman. Manny. Manny. The wind and the pitch. That Ball. one misses. Ball one. Nicholas. In his rookie season, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, Ball and he two. occasionally uses a curve. On its way to the corner. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. The pitch. Ball three. Three balls, one strike. That's ball for a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. Three one. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Righty delivers. On the ground, right side. Connor Falefa throws the first in time. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. It's Xander Bogarts now. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Oh, it looked like that curveball backed up on him, and although it's a mistake, it works out really good for the pitcher. The hitters timed it up, expects it to be to a certain spot, and it just doesn't get there. Next offering is in for a strike. The Padres down by a pair near the bottom half of the eighth inning. And down on strikes. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Merrill stands in here, leaves that one off the inside.
That missed by a lot. And the count is 2-0. And a strike right through there. That one at triple digits. Two down, nobody on. Boom, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Righty to the plate. The right hander gives up the two out walk. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. The role this Chapman comes in to take over. This softball's been really good against left handed hitters. David Peralta at the play. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Fastball for a strike. 0 and 1. In there at the knees for a strike. Looking very subtle to the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two run lead. The tying run at the plate. Three. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. So a job well done from the Buccos bullpen. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Pirates six, Padres four. So the Padres with a new arm on the mound, Martin Perez. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Rowdy Telez. Rowdy The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And that's outside. Next pitch is downstairs. And a ground ball to first. Cronenworth it. takes it himself. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. So up next, Brian De La Cruz. Well, not only can Perez pitch, but he can also sing. Remember, he performed the national anthem for Team Venezuela leading up to the World Baseball Classic? You watch that video, you'll see how much that moment meant to him. Activity in the bullpen. Adrian Morahone, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Base is empty one away here at the top of the night. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the second out. Keith Ryan Hayes will hit next. In there and it's 0-1. All ones the count. And one and that one. skips in the dirt. Here's a one one. That That's one missed. Hit hard, base hit. Two outs, runner at first. And here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Right through there for a strike.
And now the lefty. And that one flips the corner. No ball, two strikes. In the air to left center. Sizing this one up. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. 8-9-1 due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Pirates six, Padres four. They hand the ball over to a new arm, David Bednar. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with a W. And now the shortstop, Hassan Kim. That's your shot. And the pitch. And the curve is down and in. That's a strike. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Reynolds makes the catch. One up, one down. Now Kyle. And here is Kyle Higashioka. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Ball nope. one there. Ball one, no strike. What a stop. Throw to the pitcher, and they get the out. Couple of pitches and a quick out. The designated hitter, number four. Luis. Oh, Last yeah. chance for the Padres. And next is the designated hitter, Luis Arias. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. And that is the ball game. Well, this team just hadn't been playing fundamentally sound baseball, but today they put it together. This should start them rolling now. You have to pay attention to the details. If you do that with good pitching, good defense, you will win most of your ball games. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.